Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am here at Hyundai Motor Plaza in Chennai, near Valandu. So I would like to thank them for allowing me to visit the cars and you can check out the details of the Hyundai Motor Plaza also known as HMP in the description below. So big shout out to them. So today I have this the new addition in the N-Line range which is the most hot selling Kretas, sportier version the Kreta N-Line. So it gets a slew of upgrades like the suspension and the uh, steering, the feel and if you see the wheels, the cosmetics and the interior as well. So there's a lot of changes which I'll tell you like what are the changes as well. So let's start the video. So you come to the front, the design is a little bit changed, the grille is now smaller. It's a thinner grille, the Hyundai logo is here. And they have the 360 degree parking camera, you get these blacked out elements. You have the LED DRL, again the sequential turn indicators. LED lights as well, front parking sensors. So from the front, actually it looks a lot aggressive now. And this is a different special paint sheet for the N-Line only. So red inserts here as well. So the wheels. If you talk about the wheels, the tire size is 215-55 R18, so these are N-line specific wheels, you see N written over your red brake caliper and you get uh, file lugnets and the N logo front and your disc brakes as well, obviously because the regular cutter gets it, N-line badging here as well, blacked out to RVMs, the roof wheel, so you get a floating, line, uh, floating roof kind of treatment, even this pillar which is silver in the regular cutter is black in the N-line to make it more specific to uh, appeal to more sporty customers or the, the younger audience body color door handles and if you come to the rear here is where the highlight is again you know this red treatment running over here more aggressive styling in the rear so you get this spoiler as well differentiated with the regular cutter and yeah so let's just open the boot so you have basically two uh, okay wait i have to open the car So I'll show the key as well, you can lock, unlock, you can bo open the boot and you can directly start the car from the key as well. So, yeah. So this is the boot, 433 liters and you get a subwoofer here, both surround sound system. So good boot, uh, practical boot. And, ah, this is kind of heavy. So you get the spare tire here. And boot shaping is good so you can easily slide in big suitcases and take it out because loading lip isn't high and you get 60-40 split the partial shelf as well and if you talk about the length of this car it's around 4330mm and the wheelbase is 2610mm so I mean I just like the design of the Kreta N-Line because of the colour secondly the uh, spoiler the aggressive treatment as well it gets a matte colour option as well which is standard you don't have to pay extra so that's good so if you see the door Doors are again the same as Kreta, but uh, you get these blacked out elements. Like the whole cabin is blacked out. So let me just go in. So you see, you get good legroom, good knee room, and the thigh support is decent. Like if you sit out your legs. So and the headroom is good. Like I'm six feet tall and have uh, like three, four, three or four inches. So you get door blinds here. You get a light here. And door pockets are big enough so you can easily fit in a little bottle. And you get magazine holder here. So here you get, you know, this some space, twin USB-C, rear AC vents, uh, blacked out seats with that red uh, flag kind of treatment. So give it the most sporty feel. So the whole blacked out interior. And you get these N-line cushions as well. Like the cushions you get, N-line is written over here. And you get uh, two adjustable headdress. We have with twin cup holders. Big panoramic sunroof as well, and you get height adjustable seat belts. So basically, for safety, you get six airbags, ABS, EBD, ESC, traction control, hill hold control, tire pressure monitoring system, rear disc brakes, ADAS. So slew of ADAS features: rear cross traffic alert, blind spot monitor, lane departure warning, lane keep assist, uh, automatic emergency braking, front collision warning. So many of those features are there. High beam assist. So I mean, it's loaded with tech. And this is how the dashboard looks. You get these red elements and the black dot dashboard as well with the end specific steering wheel and the end specific gear lever as well which i'll come into in a bit so i mean yeah and obviously uh hyundai also has you know uh worked on safety as well because they have made six airbags as standard as well passive entry is here electric seats for the driver uh, again big door bins 
power window control, the OVM control, you get auto start stop, traction control, engine start stop, front parking sensors and the headlight level up. Sorry for the inconvenience. Yeah, door shuts with a thud, like it has more weight, that's what it looks. So, I mean, let's switch on the ignition, it's too hot in here. I mean, yeah, the temperature is like going too, too high. Man. Just bear with me a minute, yeah. Family. So, if you come to the center console, you get a driver ambushed, a black door driver with some space, twin cup holders, you have the parking camera button, you get ventilated seats as well, which is required in the summer, and you get electronic parking brake, auto hold, the drive mode. So, if you press this drive mode, like you have traction modes and drive mode. If you go into the traction modes, you have snow, mud, and sand. If you go into drive, you have normal, eco, and sport. I mean, there's something for the inline specific, I believe that they have this sporty cluster only. So let me show you the uh, instrument cluster as well. So both of them are 10.25 inch units, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, navigation and stuff. So you get the compass, you get tire pressure monitor, the ADAS features, and you get the trip info as well. Also the speed. So yeah, good enough system. So let me just show you. Yeah, you get dual zone automatic climate control. This is a 7-speed DCT with the N-specific gear lever for the red, with the red accent and the red stitching. You get wireless charger and charging options there as well. So this good N-specific steering wheel with that hard, you know, these uh, paddle shifters as well. So, I mean, good. The dashboard is absolutely great. So, even the seats, I mean, the seats are just too good with the N emblem as well. So, you get a cool glove box here with some space over here. And let me show the screen as well. So, the screen, the funny thing is the 10.25 inch screen uh, doesn't get the wireless Android Auto Apple CarPlay function, but the wired uh, function, the smaller inch, the 8 inch one, gets the wireless function so that's kind of fun you have geo 7 you get one year geo 7 free with the car subscription which is indicated in the system so we go into media you have the sounds of nature and you have various vehicle settings as well uh, so blue link connected car tech as well so a lot of good features valet mode i've tried it once so I absolutely like these features are just too good auto dimming inside rear view mirror and you get a 12 seat holder over here and a mirror over here so you get twin lights as well and again the highlight of the car which is the panoramic sunroof i'm not opening because the sunroof also opens so which is not good for us so let's just switch off the ignition and let me show you the engine bay as well you get one more thing to note is that you get metal pedals as well for the end line so So if you go yeah, the hood is kind of on the heavier side. So this is a 1.5 liter turbo unit, four cylinder engine. So this is how the engine bay looks. Uh, you get insulation as well on the hood of the vehicle. So talking about the engine, it's a 1482cc i4 turbo petrol engine producing 160 horsepower and 253 newton meters of torque. Turbo petrol is standard in the N line range since obviously it's a sporty car, so you can't put a uh, naturally aspirated engine or a diesel engine. Maybe you could put a diesel engine, which could be fun, but let's see what Hyundai does. So, this 0 to 100 comes up in 8.9 seconds, which is actually very quick compared to the weight and the standards of the segment. Like the SUV going uh, doing 100 under 10, under 9 seconds is just too good. So overall, what talking about the N-Line, I mean, the regular Kata itself is so, you know, uh, eye-catchy, uh, promising, feature-loaded, overall great package. And the N-Line takes up the game even further since there's a price difference of, say, uh, 35 to 50,000 and you get all of these goodies in the same car. So I mean, that premium definitely is worth it. You also get a twin-tip exhaust as well. So overall definitely a great buy if anyone who's looking particularly for driving and you know the sporty elements and stuff. So if anyone is interested you can definitely comment on YouTube, comment on Instagram, DM Instagram. I can uh, 
help you connect with the dealers and i can solve all your doubts or queries whatever you have so thank you so much please do like share comment and subscribe and do let me know your views of the creta inline face creta inline not the creta inline facelift because this is the first generation of the creta inline and also a big shout out to hyundai motor plaza chennai